and welcome to Just The Job, the show that gives you a behind the scenes insight into a huge range of exciting career opportunities. Now this week, we've got a special program lined up looking at rewarding careers in dentistry and oral healthcare. Hi, I'm Liam Havercourt. I'm year 13 at Sacred Art College and I'm here today to find out about careers in dentistry. Liam's got a whirlwind tour ahead of him, from meeting students studying to be dentists at the dental school in Dunedin, to students studying to be dental therapists and dental hygienists at the AUT University on Auckland's North Shore. First up, he's about to get some guidance from Dr Rebecca Shipper at Colgate. How do you do Liam? I'm Rebecca. Uh, nice to meet you. There are many career options in dentistry and Rebecca's chosen to focus on raising oral health awareness through partnerships and education. So I trained as a dentist and worked as a general dental practitioner for about 20 years. Oh, okay. And I was interested in getting into teaching and so an opening came up at AUT University and yep. I was one of the senior lecturers there and eventually co-leader of the program for the Bachelor of Oral Health and I'm very much still interested in education and so that's a big part of what I do here. Rebecca gives Liam a glimpse of an educational DVD that they're using in schools. Welcome to Tooth City. Meet five of Tooth City's shiniest citizens, the Tooth Defenders. Yeah, I can really see how they appeal to kids. Yeah, great, we'll get to see this in action later. Cool. But first of all, I think it's really important for you to go to the University of Otago and find out what it takes to become a dentist. That's awesome. The South Island city of Dunedin is the only place in New Zealand where students can train to become a dentist. Dr. Alison Rich is going to show Liam around. Welcome. How's it going? Good. Come on in and I'll show you the dental school. I have sort of two roles, two positions. My First is my clinical position. I'm an oral pathologist, which is a, one of the less common specialties in, in dentistry, where we look under the microscope at various lumps and bumps and ulcers that have been removed from people's mouths by dentists and dental specialists throughout New Zealand. My second role is as Associate Dean for Undergraduate Studies. So we have the Bachelor of Dental Surgery, which is the five-year programme. Liam is going to get a taste of some of the things that he would cover during the Bachelor of Dental Surgery. So Liam, I'll get Karen to take you through some of the, the tasks that she set up that we use for beginning dental students and oral health students, just to get a, you to get a bit of a feel for some of the complexities of working in, in the mouth. I think the first thing we need to do is get you to put on a gown. There we go, just pop this on. Liam's first challenge is learning to work with mirrors. To learn how to see in a small mirror, we get you to do these exercises using mirror and tweezers. Okay, so we've got some coloured sticks here, and if you could just make a wee square of those sticks yep. using the mirrors. It's not as easy as it seems, is it? Oh, it's uh, pretty hard, eh? That's not really a square, Liam. Let's see how you go sorting out which teeth are which. So if you could just copy that and pop these teeth into the plasticine so that they might match the set here. Five minutes later, a full set of chompers. Sort of. Yeah, OK. Well, from where I'm standing, I think, you know, that's, that's a good start. OK, so we'll go over to the um, pods now and um, have a look in the, in the mouth. And not just a look, Liam is soon let loose with the sluicing and suction. Now you might notice that these, these things haven't got tongues in there that people have got. So how has wannabe dentist Liam performed? Yes, he's done a good job. So how long, how long until we actually get into this type of environment? In dentistry, we try and get you introduced to the clinical skills in here as soon as possible, but it's really towards the end of the second year. And in second year, you're counting the teeth and assessing the gum health and so forth. But as you move through into third year, in fourth year, you do more advanced things on each other, like give each other injections and oh, so really? forth. Yeah. So you really do have to trust your partner and hope that your partner trusts you. Liam's keen to meet some actual dental students, so Alison introduces him to Sam Johnson, who's in his final year. I was just wondering, what is it like to be a dental student in Otago? Um, well, I've been here for four years now, but it's been a, it's been a great journey. Um, basically, with dentistry, you get some great people skills and some hands-on experience. And so it's like doing art with a bit of job security. And yeah, it's been, been great fun. What sort of things would you recommend, like anything that I need to watch out for or specifically do? 
to get into the industry? To get into the industry, work pretty hard. Um, <laughs> the first year of health size is a bit tricky, but once you get in, it's sort of like a big family and uh, everyone looks after you. So once you're in, it's pretty easy, just some organisational skills. Sweet. And yeah, a bit of manual dexterity helps. Oh, okay. Thanks a lot. Cheers. No problem, Liam. Liam has been an exemplary student. He's exactly the sort of student that we're interested in bringing into the oral health professions. He's done his homework. He, he knows about the different aspects of, of dentistry. Uh, he's doing all the right subjects at school. So his subjects include physics and chemistry and biology. So he's got that side of it sorted out. And most of all, he is a, 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 a student that can communicate with people. So he'd be a fine dental student. Well, thank you very much, Alison. Best wishes. I hope to see you back as a Cheers. dental student. I enjoyed it. See thank you. Bye-bye. Back in Auckland, Rebecca's got a lot more planned for Liam. Hey, how's it going? Good. Glad you're back, Liam. Yeah. So how is Dunedin? Really cool. Yeah. We've got some therapy and hygiene students here from AUT and Dr. Rabbit, so let's go on in with the kids. Cool. Here at Westmere Primary, the Year 2 pupils yes! have been watching the Dr. Rabbit DVD. That's right. But little do they know, they're about to meet the real rabbit in the form of oral health student Viv and his fellow student Hayley, assisted by Liam. That's right. Teeth, give me a big smile. Do you guys know who Dr. Rabbit is? Yes. Here's Dr. Rabbit. <laughs> the fun and games have a serious purpose as Hayley challenges the kids to a game of word find. Okay, so Liam will say the first question. So what do we use to look after our teeth? Um, you use toothbrush. Liam is almost no, as huge a hit as Dr. Rabbit. Just one, just, oh, just one. one. And take a toothpaste yeah. as well. The toothpaste. After 15 minutes of organised chaos, it's time for the tooth defenders to beat a retreat. Are we going as well? And so Liam has learnt that there's more to working in dentistry than drilling and filling. Well, Liam's learning heaps, and in a couple of minutes, he'll be tested on his practical dentistry skills. Welcome back to Just The Job. We're currently checking out the wide range of careers in dentistry and oral health care with our student, Liam. When it comes to dental careers, the five-year degree is not the only option. There's also the Bachelor of Health Science in Oral Health, which can be studied here at AUT University on Auckland's North Shore. This degree does not lead to being a dentist. It's a three-year degree leading to being a dental hygienist and dental therapist. Hi, you must be here. Yeah. I'm Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Welcome nice to, to AUT. You. Nice to meet you. Hayley, do you remember Liam from Hi, yesterday? Hi, Hayley. Nice to meet you. Good, good. Right, so Liam, we're going to take you along today and um, I'm going to introduce you to some of the things that we do in our simulation laboratory. Cool. So the school dental nurse is now known as the dental therapist. The dual qualification means that graduates from our course can now um, graduate and um, register with the Dental Council of New Zealand both as dental hygienists and dental therapists. Um, the course is integrated in terms of the teaching and that means that we don't take a specific dental hygiene or dental therapy focus, but everything is integrated so that the graduate that comes out is competent in both scopes of practice. Once again, yep. Liam gets awesome to work on a simulator head. Now, one of the things I'm going to show you today is how to insert and yep. remove an arch wire. Cool. Shaman demonstrates this tricky procedure. It's a very delicate wire in a small space, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to try this. Cool. You need to make sure you have the right angle because you need to, which side are you going to trim first? That's brilliant. And Liam soon gets a sense of what might go wrong. You need to have a good grip on it yep. and make sure that you're always pulling the patient's cheek out of the way because you don't want to grab their cheek with the wire or with the plier. This training program also allows students to learn skills to work with dentists and specialised dentists called orthodontists. That was awesome. I'm so pleased you enjoyed that. Then Liam attempts some probing. Um, so I'm going to give you a chance to try this. Try not to hook his gums off. Okay. Very, very gently. Not too bad an effort, but what are his plaque scaling skills like? And small strokes. Shaman picks up on something he needs to rectify before going any further. Liam, you need to be really careful. If you're planning a career in dentistry, you need to make sure that you are working on this little issue here. Yeah. 
Your thumb bends inwards, which means that it's hyperflexive. Okay. And what that means is that you don't have the ability to roll the instrument. So what you can do is work really hard on that and make sure that when you're holding your instrument, that your thumb and your first finger are opposite each other and that you're making an O shape through here. And if you keep practicing that, yep. it will strengthen the muscles for you and it will become something that you learn to do automatically. Oh, yep. With that little hiccup sorted, it's time for Liam to step up from working on a dummy to a real live patient. Right, Liam. Well, I'm bringing you to the AUT Oral Health Clinic now. Cool. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take an impression on our patient, Brenda. And we do that so that if we need to make an appliance for the patient, that we're able to take that. We then use the impression, which is essentially a rubberized version of a copy of the patient's mouth. Cool. And we pour plaster of Paris into it to make an exact copy so that when we make the appliance, it will fit exactly. Cool. As expected, Sharman makes her impression quickly and efficiently. Now it's really important that we gather up all the powder and load the tray correctly from the bottom. It's quite stiff and make sure that you push the material down into the tray so that you don't form any air bubbles. Remember what I said, holding the tray securely, taking it round to the back, keeping some space at the front and pushing the alginate through and it's setting on me very fast and gently remove it from Brenda's mouth. So what we're looking for is a nice rounded edge over yep. here. We're looking for evidence of her frenum over here and making sure that all her teeth are in place. It's and that we detailed, have. Isn't it? it is very, very detailed. But what sort of impression is Liam going to make? Keep mixing, keep mixing really, really fast. I think you're losing it a bit, Liam. All right, so you need to keep your mouth open. Right, so you need to get her to the back of her mouth. Keep, well, don't put your hand on her head. <laughs> She's real live patient now. Right, now we've got to seat it up, bring it up, but now we've got to get her lip over the top. <laughs> and while you're pushing it up, <laughs> I think it's setting. <laughs> right, let's see if we can rescue you here. Oh, I think it's set. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Once the plaster is poured, and set, the difference between the two moulds becomes even more apparent. Can you see that my model has a lot more detail on it, yeah. whereas your model has lost quite a bit of detail through yes. here. And so this is part of realising that you need to start the process and do it right, right from the very beginning. Yep. Because otherwise, if you get to this point, you actually have to start from the beginning again. Really? OK. Well done, Liam. Those teeth look great. In a bit, Liam's off to check out more about dental and oral healthcare careers, but first, Here's Sarah from Careers New Zealand. Thanks, Clinton. Well, Liam seems to know that dentistry's for him, but what about if you're thinking of your own career and applying for jobs? Do you need a CV or maybe some tips on how to handle a job interview? Get prepared by visiting the Careers New Zealand website at www.careers.govt.nz. Thank you, Sarah. After the break, Liam learns more about the hands-on practical skills in the dentist chair. Liam's next stop on the tooth train is a catch-up with dental therapist Reem Ibrahim. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hi. You must be Liam. Liam yeah. Hi, my name's Reem. Hi, Reem. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Ponce Intermediate Children's Community Dental Clinic. Cool, thanks. All right, shall I show you around? Yeah, that'd be good. Well, I trained at AUT, Akarangi Campus, um, for three years. Just because I'm dual qualified, I don't want to drop um, hygiene or therapy. I wanted to get both the scopes of practice. So I work two days a week in a private dental uh, clinic and then I work three days a week here at Pons Intermediate Children's Community Clinic. So apart from the hub clinics, which is what we've got here, we've also got diagnostic vans that uh, travel to schools and we examine and carry out preventative work on the vans. And we do that about pretty much every week, but we sort of rotate as therapists as to who goes on the van and treats the children. So I wanted something sort of hands-on and this seemed like the perfect choice, and it really is. Today, Reem is about to check up on 13-year-old Mahalia. Hi Mahalia, nice to meet you. So today we're just going to be uh, checking your teeth. Reem then sets her up for an x-ray. This reveals some vital information. So um, Mahalia, your teeth are actually looking really good, honey. There is just, you don't have any adult premolars. I would just give you an ref orthodontic referral form, okay, which you can give to mum. Right, so I think now what we're going to do, we'll just uh, place those fissure sealants on your teeth 
and uh, we'll get Liam to give me a hand. The sealant is a thin plastic coating hardened with a UV light. So is this a common treatment? It is actually quite common now. Um, so we are focusing more on prevention. Yep. Okay. We want to sort of prevent these teeth from developing decay. Mm -hmm. And popping these fish sealants in the teeth does that. Cool. It's just that. All right, Liam, that does it for us today. Cool. Yeah, it was lovely having you. Thank you. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi, Rebecca. Hello. How'd it go? Good. He did really well. It was really cool. Yeah. So we're off to a general dental practice next. Cool. All right. Awesome. See you later. See you later. Bye. Liam is about to meet Grayland dentist Usha Nasha. I'm the dentist here and I own the practice. I have a wonderful team of people that help me every day and uh, I'm very passionate about dentistry in general. Hi Usha, good nice to, see to see you. you again. So this is Liam that I was telling you about. Hi Liam, I'm Usha, nice I'm the dentist you. at Greyland Dental. Uh, I thought we'd start with our hygiene area yep. and you do a few exciting things with Susie. Cool. And uh, I'll take over and we'll do some things from the dental aspect. Cool. Liam is soon gowned up and ready for work with hygienist Susie Keogh. Um, Liam, I know you've been doing a little bit of suction earlier on, so if you could just um, do a little bit of suction for me. Yep. Um, when you're popping the suction in, try not to put it too far back because we don't want the patient to actually feel too uncomfortable. Yep. As Liam soon learns, the hygienist's job is not just about scaling and polishing. It's also crucial to give the patient advice about their oral health. All right, Rachel. Well, in general, it wasn't too bad at all, actually, but there were a few bits of bleeding that I was noticing, particularly where you've got that retainer. Um, how often are you tending to um, clean in between that and use your floss and your little interdental brushes there? Um, I try and use those interdental brushes every day. Great, great. Hi, Yusha. Liam did really well. So Thank I'll hand him back to you. And it was very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. So now I introduce you to my world. Yep. So I've got a patient arriving in a few minutes. Cool. The patient, Ben, is having trouble with one of his wisdom teeth. So Ush is going to take a full mouth x-ray. So Ben, this is an image of uh, your x-ray we just took. You can see on the image that it is a tight area for that tooth to be, be growing, so it might not have enough room to come out fully into your mouth. So I will use the image and have a look in your mouth and uh, just see where the origin of that um, discomfort's coming from. By now, Liam's pretty clear that becoming a dentist is what he wants to do. And he's keen to get Usha's take on training. Did you train in, did you train in Otago? Yes, I did. Uh, how did you enjoy it? Oh, it was fantastic. It's, it's such an important part of my life. Yeah. And so uh, do, you, do you enjoy being a dentist? I love being a dentist, yeah. yes. But it's important to realise that even after they're qualified, a dentist must do ongoing training. As a New Zealand Dental Association member, we are required to do a certain number of hours every year. And that involves attending courses. There are many courses available in dentistry, both in New Zealand and overseas. So we run a whole lot of uh, continuing dental education events. Uh, we provide the community with uh, grants to promote oral health. Uh, we're the major funder of dental research here in New Zealand. Uh, and I guess dentistry being a people-based business, so we're involved in some of the interactions that don't go so well and trying to resolve um, issues between patients and dentists. So it's a whole raft of things that keep us busy. Back in Greylin, Ush is keeping Liam very busy. Liam, I would like you to have a try oh, awesome. of the camera. Yep. And I would like you to take a picture of this tooth here. Okay. So come and sit on my seat. Very good. And I'll help you drive that. You do need a steady hand, yep. and to take the image, you yep. just press on the pedal there. Okay. So once you've got the image, you can look at it on the screen. Yep. But it's harder than it looks. So, Liam, you got half the tooth. Can we have the whole tooth? Yeah, maybe. I'd love to go back to Otago and experience the student life and the dental school life. 
So um, there's no doubt that dentistry is a career that you can enter at the age of your early 20s and spend your entire working life. And there's no doubt that you can take other directions. You, you, you learn a, a range of skills um, within the program that allow you to do other things as well. So, um, yes, yeah, dentist, dentistry is a very, very healthy and very good um, prospect for the future. Uh, one moment. Yes. Perfect. You got the whole tooth this time. Oh, that's good. Excellent. He can take a photo. Thank you, Ben. But does Liam have the right stuff to become a dentist? I feel he is perfect. A perfect candidate to become a dentist. He's very interested in meeting people and helping people. Academically oriented, he understands what it will take to go through the degree course. Also, he knows afterwards the commitment required. He went really well and he had a full range of experiences. He's got what it takes to be a dentist and I'll be glad to see him join the profession. The experiences I've had uh, have really inspired me to want to become a dentist. Uh, the people I've met, the opportunities that I've had uh, have been really great. I can't wait to go down to Otago and start my career in dentistry. To apply for AUT University's oral health course, you need university entrance. The course is open to people of all ages over 17 years. School subjects should include chemistry, physics, biology, English and maths. These subjects are also important to apply for Otago's dentistry degree, which has just 54 places. You must pass the health sciences first year with good grades and be interviewed. There are other options for graduates and people of Māori and Pacific Island descent. Good communication skills, enjoying a team environment, working with people and manual dexterity are important for all dentistry courses. Well done Liam and good luck with pursuing your dental career. Now to find out more about the training opportunities and careers from this week's show, plus more info about all the careers featured in this series, check out our program website tvnz.co.nz slash just the job or simply Google just the job. So good luck and I'll see you next week. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.